Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Hello. What have we got? What are start, we starting with? I have no idea. Just turn it up. Just turn it down. <laughs> you like this, don't you? Oh, the Irish Rover. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's like happy St. Patrick's Day. Welcome yes. to your Fridays this morning. My trousers are falling down today. They're a little I bit too big. I find that hard to believe. They're lovely. They're massive. They're massive. Thanks the size for going of my green for me today. Look at these. Can you see them? Did you not try you them on? I can't even see my shoes. Did I get them taken off? <laughs> no, I just thought they're fine. It's so you long. Know, just. <laughs> Have so you come in your pyjamas today? <laughs> I have. I, have. I love your Jimmy well, Jams. Well, I wanted to wear this because obviously it's green, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you're Day. so nice. Thank you. And uh, we couldn't, you know, this is a big day. So, you know, we couldn't spend today without yeah. celebrating in an Irish pub. And as obviously we're working today, mm. we can't sure. drink or anything. I thought we'd bring the pub to the studios. Very kind. So it's right here. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, we thought it was only fitting to give our pub an Irish name. Alison, what we called it? Well, I thought I, I, I came up with a name and I just thought O'Leary's. It has to be O'Leary's. no! Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. I love this the fact is your that, own pub. I love the fact that McKenna's the landlady as well. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Come on, Cloda. <laughs> but we are starting everywhere. I, mean, I, I see no glasses in front of me, but we're starting with raising a glass to Alison because we've got some very exciting news this morning. Uh, can I get some sort of fanfare, perhaps? Is that, we got it's a out, folks. It's out. You don't need a fanfare anymore. What are you anymore? talking about? I want a it's fanfare. It's out there. Everyone knows it's official. You're the new Bake Off host. Can you believe it? Oh, thank you, darling. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah, so I'm the new co-host with the lovely Noel. Oh, um, I'm very excited. Can you get a round of applause, please? I was under the assumption you were quite confident. <laughs> Stop it. But yeah, it's really excited. I'll be honest with you, I'm just in it for the cake. I really am. Um, well, I was thinking about this earlier on. You know, there's that artificial intelligence thing now, that, that chatbot thing where you can put anything into the internet and yes. it will come up. You're the same one this morning because you can you can literally pluck random words out of the sky yeah. and go, no, I listened to the VT on that. Like, <laughs> 18 years ago or something, <laughs> right? Because long. if you just put Kitchen and Alison Hammond uh, into the internet, then this will come up. <laughs> yeah, I know the best time in the kitchen. Let's let's see the first clip. Remember this? These ones are definitely cooked. Let's get them out of the pan. There we go. Just flick them, flick them in. OK, let's just leave that one. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> just drop pancakes literally everywhere. I, I actually, I actually, um, I actually broke one of my tiles with that. Seriously? <laughs> with that pan, I was devastated. <laughs> I was live on Instagram because obviously it was in lockdown. I was yeah. live on Instagram, and I was trying to style it out, but I saw the crap tile. I was absolutely <laughs> gutted. <laughs> it's fixed now. It's done. Um, <laughs> and that was just a little warm up because you actually appeared on Bake Off as a contestant. I did. On the celeb version in 2020. But, and I felt for you for this, for this because I felt exactly the same way when I first saw this. There's oh. a bit of confusion on the oven. Take a look. Things are just running so smooth for me. This is actually boring TV. <laughs> <laughs> In it goes for 20... Where's the... Where's the door gone? Oh! <laughs> what, the door? This is a cool oven, isn't it? Look at that! <laughs> oh, wow! That is so cool. 160. Have I've never seen an oven like I've that. I've never seen an oven like that. It's We've a cool oven. Here. Have we? It's witchcraft. It's a, it's a really good oven. I love it. Well, listen, I'm so excited. Congratulations. Can't wait to meet the bakers and all the team. It's Yay! really exciting. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone. Amazing. Thank you so much. Listen, back to St. Patrick's Day. Now, this wouldn't be a proper Irish pub without a pint of Guinness. Yes. But did you know that apparently people outside of Ireland are physically incapable of actually pouring it correctly? I didn't know this. Absolute nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is so bad. Our next guest has taken on the moral duty of sharing some of these shocking pints in the world of social media. Here are some of his findings. Oh, OK, no, oh, I know No, I that is bad. That's Look at terrible. the head on that. Oh, well, that, oh, that's, that's good. Weird. What's that on the outside of it? Is that's it ice? Is that dishwater? Is that too... Oh, my oh. word. Oh, All right. terrible. OK, no, I've, you've won me over. Ian Ryan's uh, pint-shaming Instagram account, which, for the sake of daytime TV, we can't mention, <laughs> but now has 200,000 <laughs> followers, including fans like so Jamie Dornan and Noel Horan, who joins us now. Hello. Nice to meet yes, you. Nice to meet you. How nice you? How's it going? So, when, in, when, where are you from originally? I'm from Cork. OK, yeah. so that's Murphy's County, so... Well, yeah, <laughs> Murphy's Beamish, Guinness is nice, kind of spread across. So you love the Irish style, but yes. you didn't really drink it so much until you came over here? No, not quite, not quite. I think when I first moved over, basically, how the account started, I'll just kind of start by pouring a pint. Um, yeah. well, how the account started was um, I 
had a trial on my own Twitter and I was sharing photos back to the lads and everyone's going, yeah. everyone back home's going, oh, they have terrible points in, in, in London. Um, and kind of just started from there and set up the Instagram account. And so this is, it was not necessarily the quality of the Guinness, it's how bad it's poured. It's, um, it's kind of like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky one. It's, um, it's not necessarily like Guinness outside of Ireland, no go. It's like, there's plenty of pubs around London that do amazing Guinness, yeah. so many of them. Um, and there's just some things that you kind of want to avoid. So you want to avoid um, having a pint that has uh, too much head, a uh, pint that has too little. Yeah. Um, but this is important, isn't it? Yeah. Because like, you, go into, you go into a bar in Ireland, yeah. a pub in Ireland, and you'll see five or six like pints, like almost yeah. four fifths or whatever full. Yes. Just resting. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because they're just, they're just going. In. Like, they're just like constantly pouring them. Yeah. You know? so, but, the, but it has to rest for how long? Uh, 119.5 seconds. Wow. Yeah, I got, wow. I got it down. And make sure to drink responsibly as well. Yeah, um, <laughs> very good. But, uh, yeah. I can't believe we actually featured on your Instagram yes, page. before my time. You, yeah, you but... wasn't very happy with one of our pints. Wasn't quite happy, was, no. Was it to do with... Clo was this <gasps> one that Cloda had near one of her recipes? Yes. What's the but... issue with this? What's, what's, what's the problem with that? Um, so, basically, uh, <laughs> Too little head, um, so it looks like it's been sitting there for about two hours, just like sort of um, going bad. <laughs> Pretty much like waste. with a Guinness, you kind of want to like Claude, Claude drink it as soon as it's. Can, I, can uh, we just clear up a thing? <laughs> hang on a second. I know we oh, said clear it up. This is you. Claude's <laughs> recipe. That was not a draft Guinness. Right. And also, that was a can of Guinness without the thingy. You know, that without special the thingy. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, sorry, of stout. And it was used in a recipe. <laughs> and also, okay, I didn't okay. pour it. Everybody out there, <laughs> I didn't know right, That's all right. So. You've, you've created your own pub oh. in, your, in your house. Yes. So have you got one of these? Yes, I have. No, the, you don't. I have the exact same one. Have you I got have one that of these? Heart. Yeah. Why have I not yeah, been Hang on, why do I, where, 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 do I get, where do I get one of these? You <laughs> have I need one of these in my life. I want to come to the pub. What's it like, Clodagh? What's it like, my pub? Well, having just like having Guinness on tap. Do you know what? It was an old shepherd's hut that we converted into a little Irish pub because I missed Ireland so much during lockdown. Aww. And it's just a big, long wooden counter. We've got Guinness on tap and uh, some other local breweries. Well, I've you got need the to invite Ian down and see so he can yes. judge the Guinness down there. Yeah, yeah, I can give it. I can give it. I don't need to be judged. I know it's the best Guinness. Well, can we just invite Ian <laughs> down? <laughs> <because> <laughs> big, big claim. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course, yeah. Big claim. And Ian, Jamie Dornan gave you a shout out. Was it on Graham Norton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I think it was, that must have blown um, your mind. Yeah, December 2020. Um, he, he'd been following me for a little bit. Um, we kind of had a little back and forth uh, on messages or whatever. As you do with Jamie, uh, with Jamie Dawn. It's pure casual, you know. Um, <laughs> 50 but, Shades of Guinness. This guy yeah, just won't leave you alone. He's, he's, he's a Guinness fan. He's a fan of Stout himself. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, he gave me a shout out. I think I got like 50,000 followers. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. Ian, I'll, um, just finish off this yeah, pint. So How are you going to finish off, off yeah. this pint for us? So, so you wanna... had a little rest. So it's, it's had his rest. It has 119.5 seconds almost. He's literally Can you do a shamrock? Oh, we don't do sh I don't do shamrocks now, but I'll just pour. You push it forward. I'm avoiding shamrock. Oh, that's shamrock. perfect. Look at the head on that. Oh, it's good. Look lovely. at that. Okay, yeah, here's the question: perfect. Why is it you point backwards to start and forwards at the end? Ooh. Um, is there no reason? It's just. It's just. Maybe the way it's, you do it's, it. it's it's something to do with kind of the way the tap pushes it out right. uh, with the gas. Um, I think I might have over poured there a little bit, which well, is my, it still my, looks like a thing. My reputation on the line. Doesn't, doesn't, is it any good? <laughs> that does taste vaguely familiar. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Ian, what are you going to do this weekend? Um, so uh, today, St Patrick's Day, yeah. obviously after um, in the evening. Well, this uh, is the then, weekend for the Irish because you've got Cheltenham, yeah, got the rugby, exactly, and St Pat's. Yeah, so it's it's a big day, and then tomorrow um, watch our Ireland beat England in the rugby. <laughs> 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 I love it. Oh, man. Fingers crossed. But, um, listen. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks a million. Thanks for nice joining one, thanks. us. Yeah. Thanks so much. Clodagh, we'll see you a little bit later, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to be making a cold cannon soup. Oh, wait. Uh, with a parsley pesto and my Clodagh soda bread. Look. Oh, my goodness. Clodagh, what, it looks delicious. What kind of landlady are you? Like, like <laughs> you... Now we've got your landlady today. Are you, uh... Yeah. Oh, no, oh, but are oh, you oh, like... <laughs> are you a kind of get out of my pub kind of... How's that, Ian? Get out of my pub. Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? The technique is on. She, have you not been on Clodagh's Instagram when she's got literally Irish singers in her pub, on tables, yeah. dancing? Oh, That's Don't. why I'm so jealous. I want to go to her pub. No. I want to get in her pub. There you go. She's 45 starting. degree angle. She's there. She's starting early. If uh, <laughs> Irish pub isn't enough to get into Patrick's <laughs> Day spirit, <laughs> how about have these four ladies? Yes. Smash the charts back in the 90s. Now, Bewitched are back. 20. 
25 years since they released their uh, hit Cella V. Uh, today, performing live in the studio. Oh, fantastic. I used to love them, I really did. Uh, Josie's out and about for us again this morning, ready to play another game of Dust on Your Doorstep. But that doesn't mean she has to miss out on the St. Patrick's Day fun, does it, Josie? Hey, Josie. Morning, where is she? Good morning, Alison. Good morning, Dermot. Or should I say, top of the morning to you. May I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. And what I love, all these St. Patrick's Day celebrations, there is a bit of an issue. How do I stay hidden with all these roving Irish dance groups about? There they go. Don't they look lovely? Aww. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day. They look brilliant, don't they? Somebody out there is going to be luckier than a field full of four-leaf clovers. No, we're not giving away a pot of gold leper coins. We are actually giving somebody the opportunity to win £1,000 in a very St. Patrick's Day dosh on your doorstep. Now, if you can't beat them, you may as well join them. Oh, I love the fact that she joined them. She looks Love. good. She looks hard. She's a good Irish dancer. Got back. Got back. Amazing, Josie. And from Irish dancers to Irish magical creatures. Do you remember when this happened? Go back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get away, beggar. Go back. Who's that? We can go now. <laughs> Yeah, it's been four years since I met the world's last leprechaun whisperer, but now he needs our help. He's flown over to join us in the studio today. And to keep your eyes peeled, because apparently there might be some small friends joining us a little bit later as well. We're going to be trying to spot them a little bit later, aren't we? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should believe. Why well, would I'm going to find believe... out? I'm going to find out if I can whisper to leprechauns today. Well, or, My grandparents or, would be so proud. Do you, do you believe first of all? Because if you believe, Always believe you've got to believe. Always. Because as if they believe, they you're just going to say they won't believe. In if you believe, <laughs> <laughs> anything could happen. <laughs> life after life. Uh, and from Ireland to Paris, showbiz extravaganza for you this Friday. Paris Hilton's going to be with us uh, to tell us about going from heiress to superstar. She's um, back with us later on. And he's back for a brand new series of crime drama Grace. Uh, but could John Sim also be returning for a reboot of Life on Mars? We're going to be finding out just before 11. I love Grace. And it's the day we all get to thank our mums. Oh. Obviously it's Sunday, but if you still need a gift for Mother's Day, our deal expert Chloe Carmichael is here with our last minute buys. Chloe, good morning. Good, good to have morning. you with us. What you got? Hi, thanks very much for having me back. We've got loads of Mother De Mother's Day deals for you today across beauty, fragrance, going out for foods. So there's lots to help you save some money whilst also being able to treat a mother in your life. Oh, thanks, thank you. Baby. Looking forward to that. And ahead of Mother's Day this Sunday, uh, today we're opening up, the, the, opening up the phone lines to hear about your fabulous mum. Yeah, uh, so if you want to thank your mum for all the incredible things she's done or share a story or a favourite memory of her, uh, maybe just want to tell us what makes your mum truly incredible. Give us a call. And it really is give us a call today because it's just me and it's just me today. And you. Uh, give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app and get involved. We'd love to talk to you. Please do it by 11.30 and you you must be 18 or over. Welcome 